Hi folks, this is Mike from Minnesota coming to you from northern Minnesota and today we're fishing on Lake Winnebagosh. Um, first of all, I'll give you a little preview as to how we got where we are right now. That'll be coming up next. Okay, we're getting some bait at the uh, Winnie Trading Post, and fortunately, we uh, we've got a helper here working here that yep. uh, is uh, Jack Farrington. Yep. He's one of the the boys that cut foot Sue. His parents oh. own the place. That's all right. We want to see your face a little okay. bit for now. Okay. Yep. So uh, we're starting to get bait, and uh, then we're going to be heading to the pines to do some fishing. All right. Sounds right. good. All right, we're here at the uh, Pines Resort with uh, the owner, Chad Mertz, and uh, we're gonna go out and do some uh, perch fishing. And uh, a little bit later, I'm gonna be doing another video with Chad, a one-on-one -on -one interview talking about the Pine Resorts, their amenities, and uh, the resources of Lake Winnebagosh, where we're at. So, would you just drop your mask for a minute so that yeah. people can uh, give us an idea of what you look like, Chad? <laughs> right. and, uh, and then we'll uh, cut this off, pay because you got some customers waiting. Obviously, it's a really, busy. really busy weekend yeah. here, and uh, we want to keep you moving. And you've been moving a lot from what Yep, and fishing's been good, so no. it's All right, words we'll, getting out. We'll cut for now, and uh, I'll be back another time okay. to interview chat. Still in the process of setting up. I haven't done this for a long time. Fortunately, I have my, my son Matt with me. He came up for the weekend. We did a little snowmobiling, and now we're doing the ice fishing. And uh, this is a pretty heavy clam. It's insulated, so I'm glad he's here to help me with it. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish. We'll see. Still going to enjoy the day. Now we're going to use the slush buster. This is where we're at right now. We got everything set up and I'm fishing two holes. I got my uh, Vexlar camera set up in one hole pointed over in this area. And then I have my hummingbird ice set up in this hole. And I'm, I'm fishing with a, uh, a chub minnow on that and uh, waxies on this one. In a little bit, uh, the cameraman, my son Matthew, is going to be fishing uh, one hole over here. The uh, fish so far have seemed to be pretty neutral. Uh, just had a great big perch come through and, and look at my minnow, but uh, just kind of swam on by. Caught one little perch on the wax worm and the small jig I have over here. But uh, at least it's, it's fun with the camera to see what's going on. And that's, uh, um, Winnemagosh is a pretty clear lake right now due to the uh, zebra mussels. And the camera works very well. We get further up north uh, fishing on red and further up Lake of the Woods and the camera really doesn't work very well at all. It's too dark water, too stained. But we're having fun, you know. It's, it's just a great day. The temp is... Uh, in the low 20s. I've got my big buddy heater in here and uh, it is very warm and very uh, comfortable. So uh, hopefully here we'll, we'll get a fish on in a little bit and uh, just earlier I uh, had a big northern. It was a pretty good pretty big northern hit my uh, minnow and he snapped it off right away but it was it was fun just watching that and uh, we'll have that clip uh, for you here in a little in a little bit. We need to get that out of the hole. 
Oh. <laughs> he bit me off. He what happened? He bit me off. He bit uh he bit the end off? He bit the line. Oops. So we'll come back in a little bit, hopefully get some action going on and uh see see me pulling up uh, a fish or two. Here he comes. Here he comes. About it. Oh, there he goes. See you got it. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping one of those crappies would uh, hit it. But... Oh, well. All right, folks. Well, one thing nice about ice fishing is when you're out here, you meet uh, friends and uh, family members. You never know who's going to show up. And uh, we're in this ice, my, our shack, and uh, we heard Amy, a very uh, <laughs> distinctive voice. Matt says, that's Amy. I said, you know. All right, let me go look. So I came out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amy Parrington, uh, the owner of Cutfoot Sioux Resort. And uh, she's out here with some of her guests. Um, where are they all from, Amy? Uh, so there's our vehicle. Uh, the ladies in this truck, they're part of uh, the Women Anglers of Minnesota. Um, they are from uh, Zimmerman. And then the folks in the silver truck, they're from Coon Rapids. And then the people in the red truck, they're actually from Mora area. And then the black truck, they're also from Mora. So we so have people from all over. They came out and they're waiting for who? Uh, Jake. Jake and Lee. Jake Parrington, uh, owner of Cutfoot Sioux, and Lee Parrington, a uh, young guide that's uh, coming up in. Uh, in his guiding service and doing very well. So um, apparently he's been out here scoping it out. So I guess where they end up going, I might follow, but uh, we'll see. Later on, j just like when I'm gonna do a chat, I'm gonna be uh, visiting with Amy and Jake at their resort, spotlighting at Cutfoot Sioux Resort and uh, what their cabins are like, what their amenities are and uh, what the resource is um, over there on uh, Little Cutfoot and Cutfoot Sioux which comes into Winnie. So you got uh, a lot of places you can fish from there. So uh, that'll be coming up uh, on another video. Until then, uh, we're heading back to the shack where it's warm and uh, my beer's cold. This is the way we're rolling today. I got the uh, award for the smallest perch. <laughs> Just little sweeties going back in. <laughs> See you in a few years. At least they're biting though. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Nice. As it gotten later in the day here, it's, it's become more active. And, uh, and actually the first nice perch we got. So hopefully we get some more like that, but we'll see. Well, folks, that's a wrap for ice fishing on Lake Winnie today. Uh, we caught some fish. Fishing wasn't gangbusters, but you know what? Any day you're on the lake, whether it's wet water or hard water, it's it's a great day. So 
Until next time, that's this is Mike from Minnesota. Make every day a great day. God bless.